the boop. We are recording again, so hello! Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex, as you might imagine. And we are playing EU4. We are going for the Prince of Egypt achievement as, well, Florence, because we're the only ones who can. To do this, we just need to take and form Egypt. Very easy to do, pretty laid-back campaign so far, much less stress than what we've run into previously. How close are we on teching up? Eh, not, not close at all. <laughs> Let's have you drill. We're probably not close to, yeah, being able to afford that. Probably. We're making enough money that I don't really feel the need for all these trade ships anymore, which I know is kind of blasphemy. Look, we're making like 47 a month here. If they're active, I'll make significantly more than 47 a month. Right, but we're, we're kind of getting to the point where I have more money than God. Yeah, 53, so that's only a 6? Really? That kind of sucks. Uh, we have more money than God, and so... I, did, I don't... What the fuck do I spend this money on? There's no more buildings to build. Our armies are already at strength. Our navies are already pretty fucking rad. I guess I could buy, like, a shit ton of mercenaries or something, but... Eh? And I could maybe get slightly better advisors, but I'm pretty sure if I promote this guy... Well, oh, let's do it. Nope, we, we can't afford a level 5 advisor. That's goddamn insane. And that's as high as they get, right? Yeah. Prestige. I'm just saying how much I don't need money in the game. So like, yeah, you want an event giving you money? No. No, not at all. No, no thank you, game. So, this, this is nice. This is nice, because this lets us get claims down here. Claims down here let us actually go to war against the Ottomans. Now, we probably can go to war against the Ottomans using Humiliate Rival, using some other Castus Belli. They're allied with Crimea, which is meh. Hadramut, which is fucking joke. And... Tunis, who's, you know, alright. Tunis is always, all, always, always, all, also, there we fucking go, also allied with Morocco. So going after Morocco might be a way forward. If we're really trying to tear up the alliance, and frankly I'm not. I don't care that much. I think we'll be fine, regardless of what I do. Okay, alright. I said I wasn't going to do this, but go embrace all those cultures, that means more money, and more manpower, and more sailors, which might also mean bigger army, yeah, slightly bigger army, and more boats. Not really more boats. For us to do this stupid naval invasion nonsense, I am going to have to get rid of this fleet, or at least expand the size of our fleet. <laughs> he was so young, you bastards. Oh, okay, there we go. Boom, boom. Okay, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. There, that's big enough to carry half of our army. Let's see if I can afford that. I'm willing to bet that I can, but it's going to be much more expensive than I would like. Oh, hey. A war with the Papal State. <laughs> and our favorite... Austria. Again. Sure. Yeah, just activate the forts. Wait till the end of the month so we don't get stomped on immediately. Click yes. And we're at war with this. <laughs> oh no. How terrifying. Mmm. Hell yes, I will join this war. Before it was just a tentative yes. Now, now, man, you got my enthusiasm. Let's fuck up some Ottomans. I will kind of help you in that other war, but this war I am hype about. Because they have way more troops than us, and they're the big bad I want to take down. Now this land leader fire, it's kind of nice. We got fort defense plus 20%, which is 
garbage. Just fucking garbage. But we got core cost reduction, which is kind of cool. Yeah, you go there. We ran into the Tunisian Navy first, which is fine. We're gonna wreck it. Bad we. <laughs> bad we. Wow. Really bad we. We are just gonna wipe the entire thing out. Uh, that's cool. Put you back in the dock so you can... Oh, let's just fuck stuff up. Who am I kidding? Pick off more ships. Now go back in the dock so you can repair. And... I'm gonna... I'm gonna peace Austria out by just occupying these and trying to put pressure on them. I'd like to alleviate this other war before we go all in on the Ottomans. I'm not afraid of the Ottomans, I just want to be able to concentrate our forces. Administrative efficiency, that's nice. That's fine. That could be really good, but we don't have a rival except the Ottomans. Nah. 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 Eh, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Uh, this one. That's fine. Alone from Hungary. I do not need 40 ducats. I appreciate it. Your... The sincerity of your offer warms my heart, but no, we do not need your help at this time. Let's go... No... No, you don't get to be the terror of the seas today, Ottomans. It's me. I, the terror of the seas. Where are you going? Aegean? I can't get to Aegean. I can go fuck this up, though. Let's put you back in a port. You can be upgraded. So, you should be upgraded. I'm gonna lose a bunch of them. It probably isn't worth the cost, but let's just be smart about it. Child in the reeds! Um... <clears throat> I'm 19 years old. I probably have enough time to get my own air. The air is good. What is that? 11, 13, so that's an average of like 4 in all stats. That'd be pretty good. Would I accept a 4 with... No. No, I wouldn't. Where did that deer go? Give me the f 5 ducats or really... Uh... Okay air. What a choice to make. The Ottomans have a lot of troops. I'm surprised that they haven't moved in force here yet. Again, just like our last war with the ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba Austria. There we go. The real goal is just to force them out as quickly as possible. We do that, it helps our ally more than anything else. This is surprising. I have ships out here? Oh. Transports, right, okay, because I was building transports, you know, as you do. Well, those transports just let me know that there was some bullshit going on. That's convenient. <laughs> and then he does this. Alex, why? It's not... Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, that made up for it. It doesn't, didn't make up for it. It doesn't. It doesn't make up for it at all. Uh, I can go take that fleet on and maybe save the Moldavian. No, I can't. I can't do anything right. Where are you going, boy? Boy, oh, you heading to Gulf of Messina. Straits of Messina. I can't catch you there, but I can catch you here. Cool. Alright. Repair. And less. What, less of this game. Less of this. I know I was very emphatic about making that happen. Less of that, though. I changed my mind. Occupy Wiens. I'm amazed at the stubbornness of the Austrian AI to not get out of this war. Thing is, we pretty much occupy everything they have. Again, I'm focusing on these countries because they're easier to take out. That'll alleviate pressure so Poland can focus on this huge ass front down here. Oh. France got called in, I got called in, Netherlands got called in, Sweden got called in. Oh, we're fine. Oh yeah, we have twice their number. Jesus, the Ottomans are stupid. Okay, yeah, no, no problem. No problem at all. I thought like, yeah, you know, this probably go well. No, this is gonna go 
fucking beautifully. Best thing I can do is to start moving down to Egypt, actually. Make it easier for me to take what I want. Where are you going? Go for Bumba? I'm not gonna catch you in time. Am I? Yeah, give me the prestige. No, I'm not gonna catch them in time. Can I catch that in time? Again, I know I know our fleet isn't fully repaired and it's kinda stupid to be doing what I'm doing, but here I am, doing it anyway. <laughs> Barrage it. Now, it may be advisable not to be barraging all the stuff. Less barrages means that we could be saving up our military power to be buying... Buying? Buying better military ideas, which would be increasing the strength of our army, which would make it so that we would be in a better position to handle the Ottomans on our own. But really, as this war is making quite evident, we don't need to handle the Ottomans on our own. We've done well diplomatically to the point where we have an alliance that I don't think anyone on the map can beat. What with Lithuania, Poland, Italy, and France, Together against anyone, we're going to probably win. Probably win, not definitely win. Because there's still possibilities that we could lose, or I could horribly mismanage things. But it's not a likelihood. You should be out of this war, my dude. I have no idea why you're not. Uh, is this ally, enemy, ally, enemy? Neutral? Neutral, okay. Take that, I guess. Cool. Scoop down there, take that out. Alright. Bohemia's out of the war. Great. That means you can run down to Trent, but they'll leave by the time you get there. I could maybe be liberating this. I don't care enough to. I'm really just in it to end this war. Austria. Yeah, Austria could lose, or could leave, but why won't you? Hi. But, well, you're an ally of the war. Okay, fair enough. I mean, all of your provinces are gone, but still high war enthusiasm. <laughs> whatever you say, AI, whatever you say. You're the boss. Hmm. No, I, I don't necessarily want this territory, but I wouldn't say no to it. And because Croatia's not in this war, Croatia, do you want some of that? Yeah, you do. Uh, I want this. It's gonna take a long time to get troops down there. Because my navy's not big enough? <laughs> not at all. Uh, but I can't afford for it to be bigger, so let's... One, two, three, four, five... I know I just cancelled building this. And probably thinking, Alex, you could have saved all the time in the world, my dude, if you had just not been stupid and canceled that. And to that I say you're absolutely correct, but I panicked. Urbanization, hell yeah. Give me that cheap-ass development. Let's go here and then shift click there. I would be very happy to see the Papal State finally removed from the map. It's not going to happen, but I'd like it to happen. Let's start hunting down because this is ready to go. Yeah, this is very ready to go. Let's hunt down the Ottoman Navy. Because even if they have no territorial concessions this game, Crimea being knocked out of the war is nice, I'd like to make it cost them regardless. Army tradition is just better and it doesn't tick down. Well, it does tick down, just does so quite slowly. Where the hell are you going? A GNC. I'd love to get Tunis out of this war. Morale hit when losing a ship. Reduced. Cool. Not immediately helpful, but doesn't hurt. How are we doing here? That's good, that's good, that's not going anywhere anytime fast, give me that prestige. You're doing God's work on your own here. Pretty happy, pretty proud of you. 
Can I just walk straight down there and take that? I... I want to. I'm not going to. I'm gonna walk it over here and I'm gonna walk them down to Constantinople together. But I will walk them down to Constantinople together. Uh, well, you're finally out of the war. Re revoke the most recent Imperial reform. Okay. That's... It makes no difference to me at all, but okay. Navy shit. We looking... Eh, we're looking fine. Here, let's... Put this in half. Put this in half. Now, it's not going to eat up a lot, but i like these blockades to start building war exhaustion in their country. Our transports are starting to get done, that's great. That means that rather than go for Constantinople, which I still kind of want to do, I can go for Egypt. Because Egypt's what I want, and making landfall there now would be good, because that, you know, gets this show moving along. Right, well, we give that to Poland. Have we already breached this? Just, just fall. Fall. Just fall. Just, <laughs> just... Really easy to fall, you just... Fall. This is all done. Oh, I already had it all selected. Great. I guess go hang out here. You go down here. There we go this you pull and tell you what you go there you go there naval reformer has died oh no boo hoo woe is me actually I am a little sad about that they were pretty damn good at helping us win those battles consistently now we probably would have won most of those naval battles in our own right but still consistently beating Tunis and the Ottomans, one after the other after the other, that was really good. And continues to be quite good. Okay, uh, it is the next year, so I can buy this and that and this. With no worries. Better technology. Happy day. <laughs> Our forts are up and running. We don't really need them to be. I'm blockading this because I want it immediately. I am very tempted just to naval invade down into Egypt because I don't think the game will let us go down that far before they're forced to surrender. Okay, get, get on the fucking boat. Okay. And... I have all of this is wanted. I mean, this I can immediately core. So let's go take this garbage. That has Egyptian. That has Egyptian. That's that's Spain no longer considers me a rival. Did I eclipse them? No. All right. Not sure what's happening there, but okay. You're gonna land in Benghazi. I'm gonna go get the rest of my fleet or fleet army with my fleet, and it should be fine. Should be fine. Again, we're back in the land of should, probably, and might. They're not my favorite words to be using when I'm talking about fighting the Ottomans, but it should be fine. Probably fine. Eh, it might be fine. This is nearly a hundred thousand troops that we'll have in position down here. I don't think that the Ottomans will pivot hard enough to just throw everything they have at us. They may, and it wouldn't be completely out of character, but it'd be pretty fucking stupid when their capital has fallen and they have more pressing matters to deal with up here. I am, I am confused where on earth they are, because they haven't lost, like, anything in this war. 50,000? That's nothing for them. Where, where are you? Where in the world is Ottoman San Diego? There's probably a much better joke in there, but 
not getting it from me right now. So you're gonna go back up here, and then we're gonna go back down there. Yeah, and I guess I'll just keep taking this and being very happy about how easy this war was and hopeful about what that means about how easy this achievement will be to get. The only thing this hinges on is our ally not being a jackass and refusing to give us anything. They might do because the AI has been known to be greedy from time to time. Not all the time, just occasionally. Now uh, here is a sizable host. Yeah, let's start fucking with this. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Quickly fucking with that. Okay. Um, it's fine, we're gonna win. That's why I was saying, probably, maybe, probably, maybe. Because if they stack everything up together like that, it's still scary. I have a lot of troops, but it's still pretty scary. Um, you can stack on any of mine. Luckily, the French are in the neighborhood. Uh, he's a garbage heir, so no, I'm not interested in him. Hmm. Hmm. I can't fabricate claims once we're already at war, that's right. Well, I suppose I should keep fabricating all the same, because this war will be over before too long, and I'm gonna have to insistently demand that- No, no, really, I did want that. Alright, let's go take Suez, you take... At... 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 Fi? At... At... Fi? Sure, that one. You bitch. Forty favors. Forty favors. That's what I'm worth to you. Forty. Eight. Who's going so well? Why? Okay, I know why. The why is I didn't have claims. I didn't have claims, I just said that I desired an area and they didn't want to eat the aggressive expansion for me not having claims. I get it, I get it, I hate it, but I get it. Uh, go up to Rashid. And you go to Alexandria. And will you look at what we could have had in this beautiful land? Weep quietly that the Polish were self such such self-serving dicks that they didn't give any to us. And go, why Poland? Why? Were we not good friends to you? Did we not save your ass in not one but two wars? Why? Why did you cheap out on us, Poland? Why? And they won't respond because they're an unfeeling machine with no sense. Of shame. Fine, we'll get around to it. Uh, this break means we'll be able to grow our army larger, we'll be able to increase army quality. It'll... It's not it's not a complete waste of time. It's mostly a waste of time. Not gonna lie, this is mostly a waste of time at this point after that proof of concept war that like, oh yeah, they're totally beatable and you can do it multiple times in a row. But uh, I'm trying to stay positive. More... No, we don't need more boats. Don't need more boats at all. Oh, and they just immediately started attacking Ethiopia. They probably actually have the forces to do that. Uh, goodbye, very many ducats. Prestige from land battles, not actually interested. Again, I'm in it for... Esprit, esprit de corps, the discipline, will be very nice. Beyond that... Yeah. So that war went fine. Uh, this is when we start talking about the next war. But the next war, the real war I'm interested in, is in taking this. And I know that I can now, so I'm just mostly interested in... I'd truce break if I could. 
<laughs> if if I knew I could win on my own, I would definitely choose free. Tunis, how how we doing? Oh, you're not allied to them anymore, huh? Ah. Uh, well then I'm really not interested in you at all. Who are you allied to? Someone that I can't reach at all? Hadramut? Yeah, definitely can't reach them. Oh, I don't want to be a patient boy. Ah! Well, here's an avenue. S threaten war? Send warning? I can't send a warning because they're too big. Well, just insult them and continue fabricating claims, I suppose. Just... Sir, we, we can't warn them. Well, then just get real passive-aggressive at them instead. Gets the message across. The Eulogen has been really nice, and... Yeah, I think they were necessary. So, can I... Yo. Yo. Hoop, hoop. Damn you. It's actually totally reasonable that they wouldn't hook me up with another one, but... I want it. Prestige, I suppose. I say it as if prestige is a bad thing to have. I'm actually quite happy for it. Siege ability will make that war even easier next time, but it wasn't like it was hard this last time. It was pretty fucking easy. Um, we don't need a larger army, though it wouldn't hurt to have a larger army, right? So, why not more dudes? Why not? Let's start building this one on Rome and just tack it up every time we can. Are you guaranteeing anyone's independence? No, it doesn't look like it. You're embargoing a couple of people, me included. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Our error's not great, so... They're fine, they're good enough. Right now, I have so much admin power, I don't know what to do with it. Just a nice feeling, don't get me wrong, but it's also a little... A little weird. There we go. Then that down a little bit, though not very much. We are not quite big enough to become an empire, huh? Oh, well, we're getting damn close, so... Okay, what game? Ooh, no, I misclicked. That's okay. Then both of these down to 500. How close am I now? 20 off, but we'll get there. I'm not that much of a hurry to get there. Being an empire would make all Italian cultures equally accepted, which is fine and dandy, I suppose. Culture flipping to... Uh, you know, all this development's probably... No, it's fine. I only need to make one thing a state down here, cancel all these states up here. No problem. No problem. You get an Admiral because it gives you better trade projection, even though I don't really need it. It's a good habit to stay in. Uh, right, right. I suppose this would make me able to build more stuff. Brandenburg... Why the hell do you want military access? You don't need it, but okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I kind of wish there was just a fast forward to 10 years from now button. Because that's what I want at this point. Admin power, prestige. Pre oh, I can't disinherit for a while. Well, prestige all the same. It's only like 11 prestige, but admin, we're good. We could invade Cyprus. And really the only reason I want to inst invade Cyprus, and this is some really twisted fucking logic, is so I can get more claims on the Ottomans. But, twisted logic or not, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Attacking this last bastion of Christianity in the Mediterranean, why? Make it easier to attack Egypt. I mean, that's why the Crusaders went there so often, was that it was a good uh, forward operating ground to make landings in the Levant, so not like it goes without historical precedent or anything. Do we have enough? Nah, never enough dudes. More dudes. 
Dude, more dudes. More dudes. Oh, what is this? 34. <laughs> you can tell. I've... I have stopped taking money into consideration. If like, yeah, build a few more. Just finish up the stack. Whatever. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Money, money doesn't mean anything to me anymore. You hear that game? Can't scare me. It should mean something to me at this point, but nope. Nope. We are falling well out of control. I mean, completely out of control. Uh. Yeah, sure. We don't need the redest. <laughs> redest? Revolt? Reduction? Unrest? Reduction? I tried to combine revolt and unrest into redest. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's train, train, train. Oh no, too many leaders. Don't care. Actually, I, I care a little bit because that eats into my massive military point gain, but it's fine. Uh, army tradition is where it's at. How are these claims at? These claims are good. I'd love there to be like an island in here, but of course there isn't. Uh, so we could get more claims on here. Modest proposal. Aiden. Uh, why would I? Well, it's not uncommon among a certain type of young men to wish to remain outside the inevitable bonds of wedlock. The bonds are inevitable, nevertheless. Looking out from your eagle's perch, you have spotted prey. The ruler of this foreign country has for a long time been, pis been pisponing. Yep, been postponing his marriage and his throne wax secure secession. I do not care again. I don't I don't want a personal union. In fact, this is weird, I don't I don't care. I don't care about expanding into here. What I want is this. And I'm in a position where I can take this, so that's <laughs> Streamer only cares about one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. Uh Aldenburg mines who Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah sure. Let's let's go deal with it. Let's just walk one of you there and one of you there and this war is over. And meanwhile, while they are doing that, we can declare a second war on Cyprus and actually take something I'm interested in. I.e. Another place to station troops to land immediately in Egypt. And actually, now that I think about it, this is worth a non-insubstantial amount because having... The, the supply limit here is finite, right? And same thing here. So we can have a stack here and a stack here rather than a stack here and two stacks in Sicily because the time to get from here to here and here to here is probably about the same time it would take to get from here to here. Meaning it would be easier to reinforce, and yada yada yada. Let's get this. I suppose. Get that. Um, you march over there. All y'all go to the Gulf of Cyprus. And this is kind of funny that you can wait until you are in the bay of the place that you <laughs> intend to invade. Oh, really? How convenient. No one being defender of the face it. Faith is news for me, but I'm glad that us being in a war together helps tidy that up a little bit. Taking a while to get there, huh? Taking a while to get there. There we go. Guess we can cancel that. Both of you good? No. Oh, Oldenburg got annexed. Alright, moving on. You seem like you have this well in hand. I'm gonna go back here. Here, 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 here. <laughs> Palermo. That's what I meant all along. Mines, give that to... Netherlands. Netherlands are just exploding. It's quite pretty. Good for them. Doesn't affect me. 
well, it does affect me. Better ally is always a good thing. In this context, at least. Not actually always a good thing, but fucking helps here. Uh, no, let's not waste military power. Kind of want to, but it would actually be a waste. Oh, I can get a new idea group. Not worth it. Soon to be worth it, however. Soon. Yes, offensive. This gives us horse artillery, which is pretty okay. We're not going to be making great use of that because we don't really have all that much artillery. Do pretty good. Uh, again, the whole reason we did this was the discipline. The Grand Army doesn't hurt either. Once we finish up quantity and get the land force limit modifier from that, we should be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Ottomans entirely on our own. You're defending against Lithuania in a new war. Well, alright. If it weakens the Ottomans, I'm into it. have a one-track mind, I suppose. Uh, sure, this cancels out her other trait. Build the... Sure, sure, whatever game. Build the palace, who cares? We are too rich. <laughs> I, I rarely say that, but this is kind of silly. Our income is... It's not even the largest income out there. England... England has 26.5 thousand ducats sitting in their treasury. No one needs that. You're not even that powerful. Like, they're not bad, but they're not that powerful. Uh, I guess it's just control over the English Channel trade node that's 154 per month. That is insane. Holy shit. Yeah, that is a lot of money. That's... Wow, alright. We see AI can manage money now. I want in on this war, you bastards. Started without me. I have to wait six more years. Uh, with the right Cassus Belly... We could take most of northern Egypt, anyway. I think we could take the entirety of the coast and then a little bit more. Without getting overextended. No, I actually don't have the achievement for Mare Nostrum. I'm not gonna do it. There we go, Siege of Cyprus. These are ahead of time. Develop something else, and develop something else, and develop something else more, and develop something else more. Excellent. Hey, okay, okay. So, um, thank you for your kind donation to my fleet. That can all group together. You split off. Wonderful, beautiful protect trade in Genoa. You go get me more dudes. More, more dudes. I require more gentlemans. Annex, give me your money even though I don't need it or want it. Oh no, a coalition might form, it won't. Let's convert these dirty heretics, then core it, and there we go. Now I'm an empire. Can I still? I'm gonna laugh if turning into an empire makes it so that you can't accept cultural shift. I don't think that it affects it, but if it did, that would be hilarious that I just went way out of my way to make it happen, and that be a thing that screws me over. <laughs> Whoops. Again, the real motivation here is to Get... Oh, that's crap. Get, um... More claims down here. Yeah, the entire reason I did it, huh? So, we only have, what, five claims here? We can't get claims in our claims because it's no longer 
that era, era, a, a, uh, but this is fine. This is good enough. If I wrap this up early, I can move on to playing something else tonight. Now, I would very much like to do that. Give this a good triumphant feel, which I cannot overexpress how wonderful and welcome a change that is compared to our Najd campaign, where I just kept getting disappointed and disappointed in new and fun ways over and over and over. Pretty good. All right, you. On boat. Boat. Go to the boat land. Excellent. So, how this is gonna go is whoever is sitting in Puermo will be the first one to board the navy. The navy will go over here, drop it off. We'll go here, drop it off. Go here, drop it off. And hopefully at that point we'll have Alexandria or a decent port from which I can supply my troops. And I say supply my troops. We don't really have to deal with supply chains here, but uh, these are all geographic desert, right? Uh, it's coastal desert, but it's desert. These provinces are farmland or well, marsh, but farmland for the most part, and they can support our massive armies standing on them. So that's mostly where we're going to hang out. We'll step out of there occasionally to beat down the Ottomans if they step nearby, just to build up war score. But I, I really don't think that's even going to be necessary, judging by how quickly and how well this is going. Uh, you declared war on Crimea, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. And you have a... Ooh, you have a union on Sweden. Get with Lithuania, that's quite impressive. You don't have a... No, not anymore. And we're not anywhere close to establishing a personal union on anyone, so that's not in the cards. I think I'll save up for cartridge. Uh, we can keep on buying up quantity ideas, but for the time being, I think perhaps it's best to do that. This is going to raise our combat width by two. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You can get two more of that. It's still going to be one too many, so I can stand to lose one, at least. Once this coring is done, I'll build two more on the Kantan army. There was a time, albeit a long time ago, that I actually used to rename my armies. And you can't do that. It's very easy. You just click up here, and you can type whatever you want. There's a character limit, but if you're trying to get really immersed into a roleplay game or campaign, that's a good way to do it. Or if you just want to be silly or childish and come up with some very inappropriate names. Excellent, excellent way to do that. <laughs> would recommend it heavily. But I don't think I've done that since Vanilla U4. When I first played the game, I liked to do that. Just like in Stellaris, I don't like naming the naming the navies. In Hearts of Iron, I will rename armies just because I have to keep track of it, and it's hell to keep track of otherwise. But these, there is a correct way to build armies in EU4. Depending on what nation you're playing and a few other factors, there is a best army that you can build. It's not conditional like... The Hearts of Iron series where some are better in different scenarios than others. It's just across the board better or best. Cover your front line and infantry, have enough cavalry to do flanking, build a back line with artillery. That's it. That's, that's how you play the game, that's how you win. If you play a horde, then you might have more cavalry than infantry. If you're doing weird shit, but that's expensive and it isn't actually as good later game. Point being, in Hearts of Iron, you build armies for a purpose. This army is for naval invasions. This army is, uh, or this division at least, is used for fast striking with light armor or heavy armor or something like that. Wow, that was a lot of manpower. I did not read that. <laughs> Whoops. 
66,000 uh, with the combination of slacking slack and recruit standards and basically the infinite manpower we can get out of this I'm not too worried about it so let's grab this we get cohorn mortar which is a little better this which is a little better and this which is kind of nice as well I can't get more military ideas right which is fair I shouldn't be able to Influence ideas, diplomatic ideas could be nice. Lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. Influence would reduce our aggressive expansion, which is okay, I guess. Hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, religious is what I want. Because that's green, we are blue. <laughs> this is Sunni, we're Protestant. We're probably going to need the help converting stuff. Mm. Yeah, this will be fine. So that war is over. I can tell by Crimea being gone. Doesn't look like the Ottomans really lost all that much. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, come on. Fuck. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to rival Lithuania. Uh, but I can't rival England. Though they can rival me. Sorry, Lithuania. I don't mean it, but the game insists. Excuse me? English Secession War. You are in a person. Mm, France, you can't take the English capital. You can't take London. I'm not gonna take London for you. I... You know what, whatever. It's stupid and it's zany. Let's do it. Um, let's... Go take London, chaps. Let's go take London. Let's... Fucking die trying to get to London. You just... Walk up here. And... God help me. This is a dumb, dumb, dumb idea. Run to Picardy. You can make it to Picardy. We might have a chance of doing this. I kind of... No. <laughs> How bad is this? I mean, it's not great. We're winning. It's still not great, though. I lost... Nothing. Oh, well, I might have lost some white ships or something. I want to go to Picardy, please. I want to go to Picardy. I want to transport our navy over, and I want to get the fuck home. <laughs> I want to end this stupid war and get the hell out of here. Cool! Alright, looks like we'll be able to do that. We're ignoring the real threat here. What threat? We're ignoring the real problem here. This is such a classic European war. Oh, hey, look, it's France going to war with England over one of their thrones. Thought we were through this. The Hundred Years' War was supposed to be the end of this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you can have military access, whatever. Go, go, occupy one. That, that, that's, that's what matters here. And just get, the, get this garbage over with. We already have that. Yeah, let's get this. Another missionary. Why not? Why not? They have a big army. I'm kind of half expecting it to roll up on London right now and make a fool out of me. So let's just blockade that real quick. And run amok in England if, if I can get away with it. That's looking like I'm getting away with it for now. Yeah, not, not worth it. Go, go back here. I don't want to deal with that. Well, I can't deal with that. <laughs> Is perhaps a little more accurate. Uh, prestige pretty much maxed out. We're at war, so we can't get rid of this terrible air anyway. They're not old enough. So I guess we're stuck with them. Let's just get these points. Fall. 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 Just will it to fall. 
send it all your bad thoughts. You're terrible for it. No one likes you. Your builders didn't like you. Your defenders don't like you. People you're protecting don't like you. Great, yes. Yeah, perfect. Alright, switch this over to congratulations. France, it's a boy. This is your garbage to deal with. I mean, I... I, I can't actually help you with that right now. Sorry not. Sorry. What did I get? Oh, recover morale speed. Neat. Aha! Uh -huh. There are <laughs> English in these here woods. Not many of them. Well, that that is many of them, actually. Get the hell out of here, England! <laughs> this is my your capital. Move on, England. You don't live here anymore. I'm kind of amazed that we managed to sneak our navy up here, frankly. Uh, because we shouldn't have been able to. Well, that's it, London. Um, go to Supply Depot. It sucks and it doesn't really work that well, but I'd like this to be at full strength so that we can actually keep London. You wanna, you wanna get closer? You wanna get over here? You wanna just saddle up next to old... I'm out of the crate here? Grecian armies. Nice and safe. Come on, man. This, this is not a hard war to win. We're only fighting that. <laughs> when, when, when you zoom out like that, it seems seems a little more intimidating than just Spain and England. You know, they only have the entirety of the New World with the exception of half of Brazil. <laughs> What's the big deal? Um, but the French should be able to fight this off on their own. Their divided attention is causing them some trouble. Uh, <laughs> Once this is back up to strength, I'm going to walk down here to make them think that I'm leaving. They'll move in to siege this down. I'll move in and wipe them again. We'll just keep this song and dance going. Desires of the Flesh. Uh, yeah. Can I... No, stay in the court, lose prestige. Right, this one dude, yeah. Uh, would this get me anything? No. No ideas I want to get? No. Here, go down here. Oh hey, it's vulnerable and empty. and Not defensible terrain, so I probably shouldn't have done that. And I rolled like shit. I have no one to blame here but myself. Yeah, but wait. Get, get on the boat. And go sit here. Think about what you've done. What you've done is you've thrown away the war goal on the expectation that you could keep it. 3 3. How bad is he? Oh, it's a 0 4. Yup. 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 Yup, yup, yup. Yep. Mad cuz I'm bad. Mad cuz I'm bad. Mad cuz I'm bad. I can take it back. I can take it back. It's not that big of a deal. It's kind of a big deal though. Still <laughs> kind of embarrassed. Our truce with the Ottomans is up and I'd much rather be fighting them right now. I really want to sneak this navy back down here and grab more troops and just end this war decisively. I don't think that's going to happen, though. But really, the greatest downfall of this war is that I'm just half-assing it so much. This isn't even that hard of a war. I'm just like, eh, I only really feel like giving you a third of my army. Is that okay? No? Well... I can deal with it, because that's all you're getting. Like, I, I'm being such a shitty ally right now. Yeah, I know it's for, like, this really awesome kingdom, and 
it's a big deal and all that. Yeah, 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 but you didn't really get a choice in starting the war. But wait, what if we just didn't do this? How about that? Sounds nice to me. Let's go take this and then that and then then I'll head back to the English mainland. Y'all can quit stacking on me now. Thought you'd be doing something helpful when you stack. No. Take all this. There won't be any more Spanish to deal with. Hopefully, hopefully the AI will actually try to do some naval landings on its own. Now, I know that's crazy talk and they won't actually do it, but, you know, boys, boys can dream. Lock in. You're locked in. We have to go here. And they're moving too fast. Ah, no good on them. Sneaky boys. Uh, do I need to be saving up? No, not at all. In fact, that will save me. One ducat a month. A whole ducat. Brilliant. Alright, now you can attach to me because now I'm doing something stupid. Oh, sorry. I, I thought I meant do what I say instead of... Okay. Over here. Ooh, it's in the mountains. It was quite stupid of me. Anyway, now detach from me. Can I go down to Granada? No, let's take Valencia. Do, 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 do. Man, I keep getting dragged into these wars that are just not relevant to me at all. Ah, there it is. Uh, English Secession War. Spain will pay a bunch of money. fucking AI. We were... <laughs> you were winning the war against Spain. You could have occupied London. You could have a personal union on... Well, they're no longer a great power, but... This great power. Instead, instead, you handed Spain a personal union with England. I don't, uh. Anyway, about those, about them Ottomans, huh? How about, how about them Ottomans? Definitely, definitely didn't just waste a whole bunch of time and manpower, and energy. Nope, not a not a complete waste. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The fuck? I, uh, I hate the AI sometimes. Oh, looks like we're winning the war. Better just throw it all away. Ah. Uh, waiting until the end of the war, or end of the war, end of the year, and you probably guess what's coming up. Fucking stop! I'm so tired of your tiny shitty petty wars. Get, get this, get this. Yeah, I didn't start the previous one though. Yeah, um, Croatia would join me. Poland is, has a truce. Ottomans... You want to try that again, France? Say you... Mm. Your attitude towards them is concerningly good. Okay, Alex, can you beat them on your own? These allies are really not worth dealing with. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Force limit? Well, they have twice our force limit. Check this out. Our morale is better. Our discipline's better. Siege ability is better. Defensiveness is slight. Worse professionalism is five times better, and our tradition is twice as good. I can beat them. I can beat them, no problem. So, this is about at the end of hour two. 
if you're watching on YouTube, stop by tomorrow. And if you're watching on Twitch, don't worry, I'm just gonna go through the intro again. Do you, YouTube?